Hello everyone and welcome to another headstone tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to build this farm here. Uh, it's really simple and it's a honeycomb farm. And I left this running for about 10 minutes now. Uh, so you can see we got pretty much uh, 6 stacks. Uh, which means in one hour we would get uh, around the 36 stacks of honeycomb or 9 stacks of honeycomb blocks, right? And I'm gonna leave a list of materials in the description and also a world to download so you guys can check this in person. Okay, so first let's make the storage. I'm only gonna use 3 double chests here, but of course you can make the storage as big as you want, right? And I'm gonna use a, a minecart here to unload the items, right? So I'm gonna make a minecart unloader here. So the way we do this is using a comparator, comparing this uh, hopper here, a block here with a torch, another block here, and one on top of the comparator, and a repeater there. And now you need a powered rail here and a normal rail here. Okay, now you need a, a detector rail here. And then you need to place eight blocks. And then you can use a different block here. Uh, just so you know, this is the block uh, you're gonna have to place a powered rail, right? So you can place a powered rail here and eight normal rails here and now you need to repeat this uh, in theory as much as you like but I don't recommend more than 10 times uh, here I'm gonna do eight times this because that's how I did in my survival world okay so I repeated it seven times making eight sections of this and now uh, you can come here and place a lever uh, on every powered rail if you are on survival, you just uh, press shift here, so you don't fall in the void, right? And on the last one here, you need to place a block here so the minecart goes back. Okay, now let's build one model here. So on top of the eight normal rails, uh, you need to place dirt or grass or anything that you can place a flower on top. Around the dirt blocks, you can place uh, normal blocks. And one more layer of blocks behind here. And on the front part, I like to use glass so I can see uh, the bees working, right? But you can use normal blocks if you want. And you can build up the walls uh, too tall around this leaving the dirt block there and uh, this one line of blocks inside here. Okay, now you can place uh, slabs on top here, like this, and also here. And now you can aim at the slabs, place the spacers and they are facing down. You can also place them here, removing the dirt if you I prefer, but it's easy to do like this. Yeah, and now fill the dispensers with shears, right? Uh, if you fill all dispensers with shears, uh, this uh, nine shears here should be enough for more than 150 hours of AFK in this farm. Okay, now place carpets on top of the uh, dirt here and here on these blocks here you can place glass or slabs I like placing glass so I can uh, see the bees there you can also place glass here if you want to uh, have a better better window right a bigger window to see the bees right uh, now for the headstone uh, you always want to place eight headstone dust on these blocks here on the same uh, blocks where uh, we have the dispensers on the front here and you're gonna place a repeater here and for this first one we also need to connect this uh, detector rail here 
to the first line of headstone there. So we can do like this and place some temporary blocks here. Now we can connect the headstone like this. Yeah, in here you can use slabs or glass so the headstone does this staircase here. And now you need uh, to grab your beehives uh, with uh, three bees inside, right? And you can enter here and close this glass here and place all the beehives here. And the bees won't uh, get out because of the carpets here, right? Okay, so this next part I'm doing in survival uh, to show you guys how to do. So uh, we need to remove the carpets, but when I remove the first one, probably some bees will come out of the hives. Sometimes they don't come out, it depends how long they are inside the hives, right? So what you need to do is hold the uh, mine button and go to the next carpets. I'm still holding the button, right? So this way I'm not gonna hit uh, the bees. Right? And holding control to go down, sometimes help. Yeah, of course they all went here, okay. Yeah, and now that you removed all the carpets, you need to get the uh, poppies. And it helps to aim at the glass here, the side. But yeah, sometimes you're gonna uh, breed some bees. There is nothing I can do about this. <laughs> I guess I can uh, win a, a achievement. And now it's better if you wait a little bit so uh, they start getting inside. It usually takes about two minutes for them to uh, pollinate the flowers. Okay, now that most of the bees are inside the hive, you have space to throw an ender pill right in this last pixel here of the dirt block. And you should <laughs> be able to phase through the glass here, right? And now uh, you need to repeat this for all the models. Okay, so I built all the other models here. And of course I forgot uh, one thing important that is placed in the minecart here. Uh, but also I need to change something here that I noticed uh, this minecart, uh, this hopper here needs to point to a chest or something like that. Uh, it can't be uh, on top of another hopper because otherwise the minecart uh, won't stop here, right? So I'm gonna have to break this and I'm gonna do like this, place a hopper here and the power rail here. And now I will place the minecart that will activate everything and yeah, collect. And uh, also, like I said, the last one here, you don't need a repeater because it's powering nothing. So you can place a slab here just to make sure uh, no enderman will spawn here. And you can also uh, place one here on this block. Okay guys, so that's it and thank you for watching and the world download and materials will be in the description and I see you guys in the next video. Bye!